my first full day in Kyoto and really excited about what I'm about to do. I've seen a lot of videos, okay, I don't know if it's hype or, but it looks really awesome, where people go around uh, to this area of uh, Japan and they, and they feed these deers that just walks around, roams around, and then they bow to you. <laughs> so it looks really cool. And I found out it was a place called Nara Park. It's about an hour and a half from my hotel. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna feed me some deer because I wanna thank them for all their service, you know, for the whole Christmas thing. Starving, so before I go feed a deer, I'm gonna feed myself. And this place looks pretty good. It's cold noodles and hot broth. Put that swim in there for a little bit. Mm. This broth is wonderfully aromatic, and they have slices of uh, fatty beef in here. It's spicy, you got sesame seeds floating on top, so every bite you take, you got the nice aroma of sesame. Let's check out this chicken tempura. Mmm, you guys feel that crunch? Before this, the best udon I've had was at uh, Marukami in Hawaii. I feel like now the bar has definitely been raised. I don't know how good this place um, is in respect to all the udon places in Japan, but these noodles are excellent. Just caught my first glimpse of deer. Look at these, these guys just lounging back there. I mean, they're <laughs> literally, they're just chilling. And there's tons of them. Just mauling around. Apparently, if you bow to them, um, and uh, they'll bow back, and let's see, I bow. Nope, nope, he does, he's, 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 he's not hungry. Okay, this guy doesn't care. Let's move on. And what you do is you buy deer crackers from places like this. Basically, you bribe them to be nice to you. Oh, that deer sees a cracker. Ah! Oh, that deer just bit her on the elbow. Whoa, that thing is mean. That deer does not deserve any cracker. Wow. Oh, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> they sneak up on you. Oh my god, this thing's just like nudge this guy. These things, they're aggressive. Oh, uh, uh, it's looking at me. It's looking at me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I got nothing. It's kind of scary how aggressive these things are. Um, I got some cookies. I feel like they're a little too demanding. I mean, they just literally force themselves upon you. I mean, I like this guy. He, he's chill. He's just kind of waiting there, minding his own business until somebody offers him something. Apparently, I mean, there are deer everywhere like there's no boundary so they they literally go anywhere and they are definitely not afraid of people and they're definitely not afraid to go to the bathroom in public deer nap time i mean look at this guy he's barely holding it together there's so much more polite in the videos i mean these deer are just rude they don't even bow to you i mean don't say thank you and other Antlers, I think, uh, were cut off. I don't know why, so maybe they don't stab you when they're trying to get food. I think he smells the food in my pocket. Or she. How do you tell? And this one's bowing! Look at that! Okay, okay. Okay. A little too close, man. A little too close. Personal space. Whoa, hey! He just bit my jacket! Do not bite my jacket. Oh, dear slobber over me! But it is bowing. This one is pretty polite. This is the most polite deer I, I've met so far. There you go. He is biting my butt. Hey, hey man, that's not appropriate. He's biting, he's biting my butt. I feel violated. He's biting my bag. He's biting my bag. Biting my coat. <laughs> what is he doing now? What is he doing? Stop! 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 Yo! Slobber, man! Dear slobber, I don't want that! Ah! Yo! 
thing just nudged me with his head. If you had antlers, I might be stabbed right now. Are you gonna leave me because I'm out of food? Okay. All right. Oh, let's, let's let's keep walking. I think that relationship has effectively ended. Oh, oh, fight's happening. It's on. Oh, it's on. Oh, this one's backing off. This one's backing down. This one's backing down. He's apologizing. It's okay, man. You're the bigger man for walking away. Now, now he's bowing. There we go. Oh, she does. Itadakimasu. Oh, you're adorable. There's a little one. Don't, don't jump. Do not jump. Okay, now they tell me. This is the politest deer I met all day. You're not aggressive. You're not intimidating. You're just like standing there. We're having a good conversation. And I give you a cracker after you bow. This might just be the most adorable little thing ever. This little guy. And the reason that deer is so revered around here is that there's a legend about a god who came to earth and he was riding on a white deer. Um, ever since then in this area, deer has been protected and I, like I mentioned, revered. And of course, in this ancient shrine, this holy place, there has to be a vending machine. This shrine has been around since 768. And apparently, according to legend, there's four major deities that resides here. These are the four deities right here. So either somebody forgot their hat or they've angered one of the gods and this is what happened. This might be the coolest keychain ever. I haven't held a ninja star since I was in elementary school. Okay, th this is just really disturbing. What an enjoyable day. Now let's go back to Kyoto because I gotta go for dinner. This is really cool. This is really interesting. Do you guys see that little section there? It looks like that section of the mountain is just like some kind of golden color. The rest of it is green. I have no idea why that is right now. 